What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb you can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much put that shit in slow motion yeah i feel like an astronaut what you been up to it yeah i've been dancing in my room swaying my feet trying to get you love and a kiss on the cheek calling Hey, my bad for disappearing for a month. I was hibernating for the winter, but I'm gonna teach you how to do another fucking flip. I've done a backflip tutorial before, but I'm gonna make this as simple as possible so you can fucking learn and impress the hoes and the bitches. All right, there's three ingredients you need. You need arms, legs, and feet. That's all you need for the trick. Step number one, you gotta learn how to jump. Awesome, now let's move on to step two. For step two, you do that same jump, but tuck up. Bring your knees up to your little chest, your little bird chest. After you get all fucking tucked up, now you gotta learn how to roll with it. Backwards roll really simple. You put your hands behind your head when you roll backwards, and you roll backwards, and then you'll roll backwards when you roll backwards. That part makes me feel cute. You really just gotta get used to the motion of rolling there. It's kind of stupid, but you'll see. Last but not least, put the jump, tuck, and the roll all together. Get used to that. Do it a few times. And put something soft behind you and just try a few attempts. It'll look stupid. It'll look dumb, I promise. That's what you'll look like, but that's okay. It's all mental. You just gotta get over the fear. Eventually, you'll be flipping just like that. All it is is a jump, a tuck, and a roll, and it deuces, dude. I used to believe we were burning on the edge of something beautiful. Something beautiful. Selling a dream. Some people have been asking me to do a sweeping tutorial. Being in martial arts is kind of nuanced, but just so you guys know, I will only be able to show you how to physically sweep someone off of their feet. I don't know how to figuratively sweep someone off of their feet yet. So this is what your sweep should look like, all right? It's very simple, actually. So you're gonna start in your right foot back fighting stance, one leg in front of the other. The leg that's in front is actually going to hit the ground. So you're gonna turn like this from the side angle, it's basically like you're proposing to somebody and then they just rejected you, so now you have to sweep them, okay? So one more time, I'm going to turn. Now this leg, I'm proposing, I got rejected, this leg is gonna straighten out. I'm putting it all together from the front angle. You're gonna go boom, sweep, back up, just like so. Okay, so here's a tutorial on how to make this picture that I just posted on my Instagram on procreate so take a little eraser and just start to erase all the details around your face and get that all neat and do it better than i did because i just did this quickly for a tutorial <laughs> and uh, then you take a bigger eraser remove the white background so it's like you know floating and then you duplicate that layer put it in the back and then go to halftone and like play around with that to get it all pixelated and then you go to your pictures, choose any background you'd like, put it in the back so it's in the, the background, the, and then take like, go on Google and Google like fax paper, fax machine, something like a fax texture and then lower the opacity so you have like, it looks like you fax the pic and then put that on top and then go on PixArt, get some wings, throw that junk in the background, erase it out and you good. You curl up in this bed with me Cozy up in these sheets, girl Turn whatever you please, yeah, yeah Look, I'ma keep it simple If you could take this invitation And just come over to mine I'll let you decide You wanna just say so Stay through the night, just be you And to the God
Hi guys, I'm going to try and explain how to do a mic release in one minute. I recommend beaded rope for this and durable, inexpensive handles. It will help to understand that the mic release is three counts. One, swing and release. Two, rotation. Three, jump and catch. Get a feel for the rotation by rotating the rope off the ground horizontally like this with just the one arc. You want to go clockwise if you're right-handed and anti-clockwise if you're left-handed. Once confident, practice moving it into the vertical position. For the release, you have two options. You can pop it off the wrist or you can toss it upwards and slightly forwards as if you're plucking a tissue out of a box. Do this drill so you can practice the release and rotation without worrying about the catch for now. Make sure your hand goes to your hip. When your rotations are clean enough, you can start attempting to catch the handle. Aim for the toe catch too, so you're getting in a position to jump the rope as well. When you're confident, you can replace the toe catch with a jump, and over time start jumping the whole movement. Hi guys! Here's some tips on the Kruger or leg over. Either place your right leg over your right arm, or your left leg over your left arm. Practice this drill to check your arm and leg positioning. End of the handle comfortably clears your leg and foot points inwards towards your other foot. Swap the toe catch for one of these exits. A side swing to the other side or a cross. You got this. 